In the last few years, regenerative medicine has become almost a household term, and the public really seems to have sunk their teeth into this new and very different approach to healthcare. One of the things that's most exciting for people is the prospect to regenerate diseased or damaged tissue. But there's also a ton of misinformation out there about things like stem cell therapy. And so in December of 2021, I flew down to Puerto Vallarta myself to have stem cell therapy. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what's involved in that procedure. I'm gonna show footage from my treatment and I'm gonna talk about the results that I've gotten in the nine months since then. Let's get into this. Now, I'd been fascinated by stem cell therapy ever since I first read about it. And for me, it seemed like something straight out of a science fiction movie. But at the same time, I wasn't 100% sold on the whole thing. See, some of the clinics that offer stem cell therapy had made such wild claims and outrageous promises that it had kind of turned me off. But at the same time, I have this community of people that I work with, some of whom are in such severe pain and are just out of options that I felt like I owed it to them to find out if this was a viable treatment option that could help some people out. And so I decided to go have the procedure myself so that I could report back on my own findings. Now, on a personal note, I had had an old rotator cuff tear. I'm talking 16 years ago in my first year of clinical practice, I remember the moment I tore the muscle, I heard it tear, I felt the terrible ripping sensation in the shoulder, and I certainly remember the long process of rehabilitating it to regain functionality. I also had this nagging right ankle injury, and I wasn't 100% sure what was causing it and why it was taking so long to get back to 100%. So I decided I would go down, have MRIs of both, see what they look like, and find out if stem cell therapy would work for me. So how does the procedure itself work? Well, after filling out the booking form online, the Dream Body Clinic pretty much takes care of everything. The only thing that you need to worry about is your transportation down to Puerto Vallarta. So in my case, the day after I arrived, I headed off to the Dream Body Clinic first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Now, the clinic itself is conveniently located inside of the largest hospital of the neighboring town of Nueva Vallarta. Now, the facility itself is state of the art and the location is, of course, gorgeous. So I had my blood drawn and then they transported me to the local imaging center where I had MRIs of my left shoulder and my right ankle. After that, I was done for the day. I could just go enjoy Mexico. A couple days later, I was back at the Dream Body Clinic to review the findings of my MRIs with the doctors on staff. And sure enough, the MRI of the left shoulder showed evidence of that old injury, that tear, in the supraspinatus tendon, just a little tear and some inflammation surrounding it. And so I decided this was the perfect opportunity to see what stem cells could do for an old injury that had been fully rehabilitated. I'm talking I have full range of motion in the joint and plenty of strength. I also decided to get a platelet-rich plasma injection and see what we could do for a shoulder that was already in pretty darn good shape. I'm talking zero pain. So let's see what it can do. I also decided to have an injection of 25 million stem cells into my right ankle after the MRI showed evidence of an old compression fracture that had not fully healed yet. And so I headed off to get another blood draw so that they would have plenty of platelets for that PRP injection. And then it was off to the treatment room for both injections. And like Josh, the owner of the Dream Body Clinic said in my interview with him, the procedure itself was actually anticlimactic. The doctor was very professional, very quick. I felt zero pain in the injection in my left shoulder. In fact, I didn't even feel the needle go in. And in the right ankle, I felt just the slightest sensation of pressure inside the joint when the fluid went in. And that feeling of pressure went away 15 to 20 minutes after getting up and walking around on the ankle. And so what happened immediately after the stem cell therapy? Well, not much to tell you the truth. I did exactly what Dream Body told me to do. I took three weeks of complete rest. And in that time, I didn't experience hardly anything. I had no pain, no inflammation or swelling, really no discomfort of any kind in either the shoulder or the ankle. 
I didn't need to take a single serving of the anti-inflammatory drug that they'd prescribed to keep me comfortable during that initial phase. And so I was really happy about that. And after that three weeks, I began slowly easing into the rehabilitation process, working on regaining full range of motion in my ankle and slowly building up strength in my left shoulder. And then right around the three month mark, something really interesting happened. I genuinely couldn't remember at that point if I'd had my left ankle injected or my right ankle injected. And I know that sounds strange, but I'd had a bad snowboarding injury that had affected my left ankle, and I really couldn't remember, since they both now felt really good, which one was which, which was cool, because it showed me that something was happening, and what my new normal had become, where I just kind of expected to have some ache and stiffness in that right ankle that helped me to differentiate the two, was gone. So I had a new normal that didn't include those symptoms. So I was really happy about that. And the shoulder, it was building up strength. And then around the six month mark, I really noticed that my strength had taken off because I actually had to replace some gym equipment that could no longer challenge the left shoulder. I'd just become stronger than my gym equipment could accommodate. So I actually sold it off and got a new set of dumbbells and some extra weights that could accommodate the new level of strength. Now, nine months later, I wouldn't believe it if uh, I hadn't experienced it myself. My strength levels are back to what they were in my late 20s at the absolute peak of my strength. My jumping ability is through the roof and I'm super happy with the results of my procedure. Now, just recently, a member of the Pain Fix Protocol community posted on the community message board about her results from stem cell therapy down at the Dream Body Clinic. And you're talking about a woman who has been on the fire department saving lives for 23 years, tons of wear and tear on both of her knees. You're talking about joints that were in really bad shape, almost to the point where she was denied treatment uh, with stem cells because there almost wasn't enough tissue to even work with. But she posted about her results and I want you guys to hear from her what's possible with this amazing treatment because your problem had been going on so long and it be, and because it was tied to your job, um, I'm, you had imaging before and after your stem cell procedure. Yeah, and yeah. Just talk about the change uh, since January of 2022. And just so everybody knows, we're recording this on October 1st, 2022. So it was... I had just really jaw dropping my right knee, which is not my bad knee. It's a healthy, uh, it had a lot of osteoarthritis. So it was a stage, a solidly a stage four, but uh, no uh, traumatic damage in that joint. Okay. So, uh, but that went from a four to a two. Wow. And that's what I, I would, I mean, I'm reading my right knee results first. And when I saw that, I was like, I must be reading that wrong. And I actually looked up a few words. It would just, I was shocked. And it's like stage four, stage two. And so then I went to my left knee results, which is my bad knee, which had trauma. And uh, I'd actually had scoped and had cleaned up. Uh, surgically, at, you know, after my injury in the fire department. And uh, it said it went from a four to a two to three. Wow. So to read, you know, I like read it, I read it again. And all the things that they kind of called out in that original, where they were pointing at the, uh, the type of cysts that were forming, they're just fluid filled sacs. There's like six things were called out on that first report for those bursts and the Sure. Uh, bone uh, cysts and uh, well, a couple of the main uh, things are going to be the appearance of the bone right where it meets up with the highland cartilage. Uh, another thing is going to be joint spacing, which is huge. And yeah. the other thing would have been the thickness of the highland cartilage that lines the joint. Had that actually measurably increased in your case? Yeah. And wow. when and when they when they pulled those up side to side, mm -hmm. you know, like. I'm sitting with the doctor then and he's like just pulling up the images and we're looking at kind of a before and after. And it was really, uh, it was substantial. And it, and I remember when we were looking at it, he's like, 
uh, here it's pretty thin, you know, like there's is just the tiniest bit. He's like, uh, and all I'm asking him back in January is, yeah, but will you inject it? He's like, yeah, I'll definitely inject it. But if it were any less, I would. And now we're looking at it, you know, last last week and and we're looking at it and he's going, <clears throat> we have plenty to work with here. Wow. And uh, so how's your prognosis, Denise, for being able to finish out your career and retire on your terms? Yeah. So I am just so happy to report that I, I feel like I'm the master of my destiny again. Right now, I don't feel 58. I feel like I'm mid 45, awesome. you know, and I'd like to get to 40 on my knees because that would give me the expectation of longevity to death. You know, like, I would like to live the rest of my life without ever replacing my, my joints. That's such and, a, uh, a good thing to say and, and a perfect way to, to round this off. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you'll put the information to good use. If you want to find out more about stem cell therapy, click the link in the upper left for an interview that I did with Josh Kettner, the owner of the Dream Body Clinic. I'm also gonna put the contact information for Dream Body in the description down below. They offer free consultation so you can find out for yourself if stem cell therapy is a good fit for you. Before you head out of here though, make sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so that you're updated every time a new video comes out. That's all for now, see you next week.